All right, so immediately a turn up hole. And a bit of respect for each other's space. Although Guava looking a bit aggro with the forward airs. Um, so we'll see if Jason is able to, to combat the aggression. Thus far, getting forward aired a good amount. And Guava missing, oh, throwing away a stitch, but doesn't really matter. Forced the parasol pretty early there, and he'll have to do it again. Jason with a nice edge guard. Didn't leave Guava with many options after he took his float. So Guava giving up center pretty easily. Thus far, I haven't seen too many of those down smashes from Guava, which is obviously a, uh, a peach staple. So interesting if we'll see more perhaps as the game and set goes on. So Jason mixing up the edge guard there, the empty jump, and then just the full hop forward air. Nice confirm for a quick 44% at the start of Guava's stock. Wave dash on, forward tilt to take back forward center stage and also put Guava in a risky position. He's forced to parasol again. And then that should be a stock. Yep. So just Jason now uh, kind of punishing Guava's, Guava's aggression. And recovering to the side platform, which is pretty much all he could do at this point. Ah. Except for there, assuming Guava would, would leave the uh, leave the platform open. Now we'll have to parasol again. Jason going for the reverse forward air. We could crouch cancel on that last hit of that down air. So if Jason hadn't gotten hit by that turn up, uh, could be could be different here. But he got a little aggressive, and now he may actually. May actually be punished for that. Neutral air on the platform is good, and then if he just holds ledge, it's last stock now for both of them. Quick turnaround, but still a huge percent advantage for Jason. And that trade will do it. Good trade for Jason. Uh, Peach, obviously not the character you want to trade with too often, but at that percent and in that situation, Sheik's forward air is a, is a good method, a good option. Jason just took game one. Oh, word. Oh, word. So here to FD. Guava's still going in really hard, and Jason doing a pretty good job at spacing outside of uh, Guava's approaches. But when he is getting hit, he's getting hit pretty hard. Um, see, 95%. But <laughs> pretty simple chic stuff there, just jumping over the down smashes with his forward airs. And Guava takes the first stock. Able to make the most of his punishes. Down air, down throw, forward air, and good DI from Guava, and Jason misses the forward air. And another great punish here. Without the platforms, Sheik as a character and uh, you know is just gonna have a, a tough time against Peach. Um, you could get juggled pretty easily and kind of taken across FD. Missing that forward air as well. Peach Peach Bomber almost comes out, but doesn't. So stock lead for Guava. And that's a little bit of movement from Jason just trying to uh, space outside of Guava and he misses a wave dash off stage, which is unfortunate. Now a two stock lead for Guava. Seeing uh, perhaps a lack of patience from Jason, um, and definitely a bit of Guava reading his approaches, reading Jason's approaches. Some wave dashes back and the quick forward air. It's gonna be take more than that to kill Peach, and even that she'll be able to parasol back. Goes a little too low. I think we, we take Peach's recovery for granted watching Armada. It's actually quite hard to get back with the parasol, but slap slap and ledge grab and Guava takes game two on FD.
so more rushdown from Guava here, and we'll see if with the platforms, Jason may be able to, uh, to com compete with it a little better. Gets back with the back air, which is a good option. Another wave dash on forward tilt. He's that's it's quick. The ledge dash forward tilt is tough. Um, Guava has been hit by it a few times this set. So already Jason looking more comfortable with on this stage, but bad trade there. If you'd hit that earlier forward air, you know, probably be in a better spot now. And forward tilt on Peach's shield, not always too safe. Jason not really caring about that turn up. Just goes in with the back air. Misses the grab, but gets the uh, gets the other one. Guava quick on the spot dodge, but not quite quick enough on a move out of it. So Jason, after that forward tilt, he jumps back, uh, maybe perhaps waiting for Guava to come in with something, like a, a forward air like he has been. Um, but Guava didn't do it. So I'm not sure if that was, you know, if, uh, Guava reacting to Jason's compensation or if it was Guava just, you know, deciding to, to wait and see what, what Jason would do. Good shield grab. So Jason just throwing out some aerials here, uh, and Guava not, not falling for it. Shield drop up air. So good spacing from both of these players right now at this point. Uh, there have been some points this set where either one of them has gone in a little too close, but right there we saw a nice scrimmage with some pretty precise spacing. And that was pretty straightforward. Jason waiting for, fading out a move from uh, from Guava and running it with dash attack. But an edge guard situation for Peach here. Dash dance, dash attack. Sets up an edge guard and now it's a two stock lead. Well, one and some change. Pretty big, per pretty high percent on Jason right now, but he's making a lot of it back. Good DI from Guava there not to get hit by that up tilt. That should be a stock. So let's see. Let's watch Guava here. Uh, obviously, at a pretty big deficit, and he's cornered. Jason with a really confident wave dash back there. He knows that if he keeps Guava in the corner there at this percent, he's in a pretty good spot. So he doesn't have to force any options. Just wave dash back, get the grab, and it leads to a nice combo and take game three. Now we're going into game four. Where will we go? They don't know either. Already Guava a bit cornered, but he gets back center. Let's see if he holds on to it. It's hard to do when you're playing an aggressive style. Uh, you want to keep moving, and you want to throw in a lot of inputs and buttons, and it often means giving up certain advantages. A little more scrimmaging here. The down tilt. I haven't seen too many of those. Sheik's down tilt is a good move. Uh, and it's pretty good on shield, although that was spaced a little tight, so Jason wasn't punished, and that should be, ooh, if he'd held on a little longer before rolling up, it would be a stock. So this is Dreamland. It's good for both characters, but definitely favors Peach in, in this matchup. Down smash, all right. Um, you know, maybe a float canceled Nair or something in that spot would have been a little better after the dash attack, because down smash, uh, Jason's able to, you know, he could crouch cancel and choose the trajectory it sends him on. Uh, and there he got sent to the left side of the stage, which wasn't great for Guava. It's good by Jason. Uh, Guava did not think he would go to the ledge there. But he's forced to up be very early. Uh, or perhaps that was a, perhaps that was a flub, who knows. But anyway, it's even on stocks and percent here in game four. More down smashes from Guava, the Mac D special, and it works. But again, so we see Jason with the uh, the forward air and the dash back, just kind of trying to bait out Guava's aggression. Get on here. What? Do you what? 
Yeah, get on here. All right. Anyway, got my boy Sid coming on commentary with me now. What's good? And uh, so far, let me give you a rundown. Who did Jason lose to? Uh, Jason lost to Trooper 3-0 in winner's quarters. I feel like that's happened before. Didn't he throw his controller that one time? Did he? I think so. Oh, I wasn't here for that. Uh, I think Trooper won more from... It was not a uh, good set. I'm not sure, though. Trooper was playing really well today. Uh, he almost beat Beerman in winter semis. Oh, really? Yeah, he was up 2-0, and then Beerman with the, hit him with the reverse 3-0. Oh, uh, there were some errors from Trooper. It's a bit of a bummer. But what we've seen so far in this set is uh, some aggression from Guava. And uh, Jason has been, for the most part, uh, spaced outside of Guava's approaches pretty well. and uh, He's been able to play a little more patiently. Guava's been giving up center stage and stuff, and just kind of going for some pretty aggro moves, but uh, it's been pretty even for the most part. Yeah, Jason's just like, he's like trying to take up Guava's space, and he overextended a, just a little bit, you know, just got hit for it, you know? Oh, I know. Oh. Ooh, just Ooh, went out wow. there! See, he, he did went. that earlier in the set, and it did not pay off quite so much, but... It's risky. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta swatter, you know? Otherwise, <laughs> she's just gonna keep floating there. Oh, she's so annoying when she does that, too. Oh man, just got him in the corner. Oh. Yeah, he's been he's been cornering him pretty well. Uh, but this is the first game this set really where these like panic down smashes and stuff have have been able to help Guava escape. What was Guava's bracket like? That's a good question. Take a look. So he goes into losers pretty early, actually. It looks like. Yeah. Hmm. Let me see. So he lost to Beerman two one in winners round three. Oh, I see. Okay. And then he ended up and going through loser since then. Oh, okay, cool. So again, this staying pretty even. Good DI from Guava and the float. Well, what do you do? What do you do when Peach does her down air like that? When she does her down air? Yeah, do you back just like the heck up? I think. I think you're supposed to like no like what day? I think you DI down right? DI oh, down to get on out the of ledge. It. Oh no, no, like so he was like up in the air. Yeah. And um. Oh yeah, you never want to DI up, or, or you you never even want to do neutral or no DI because then she gets hit you with like the nair. Oh yeah. Um. So you have to DI down. It's just so it's so weird. You got to DI down and then you got to put in another input for a jump and then an attack. It's really hard. It's like. It's one of those stranger things in Melee where it's like, it's just like lots of different inputs like, like you're just not used to doing in that same order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to practice pretty specifically for the matchup. Wow, got that grab really early. Probably some of the earliest frames here. And now a little platform tech chase. Ooh, beautiful punish. Textbook stuff and oh, misses, no, the misses the conversion. Air. Doesn't get the conversion. Okay, But well. Guava gives him the easy back air there. So that was smart of just Jason to go to the ground instead of following Guava to the platform because he was able to jump up and hit him with the back air. Yeah, that 